Hey there guys, Chet here. Now in the world of open source automation, you will find powerful tools that seem similar on the surface, but are actually built for very different kinds of work. Two of these platforms that you might hear about are N8N and a tool called Kestra. Both can automate tasks, both are open source, and both are very powerful, but they are designed with two completely different users and goals in mind. Kestra is often talked about as a tool for heavy data engineering and managing back-end processes. N8N is known for connecting all of your business applications and your favorite online tools. Now this tends to cause a lot of confusion about which one you should use for your projects. In this video, we're going to do a direct comparison of N8N and Kestra. We will look at the core philosophy of each tool, who they're really built for, and why I believe that N8N is the more versatile and valuable tool for most people who are looking to automate their business. If you decide to try N8N after watching this video, I'll leave the official link below so that you can check it out for yourself. And if you want to host N8N on your own server, I made a separate video showing how to do that with Hostinger step by step. Now, both links are below. Let's start with the biggest difference in how you actually build your automations. Kestra is primarily a platform that uses a text format called YAML, Y-A-M-L. Now this means that you define your workflows by writing structured text in a configuration file much like a developer would. While it also has a visual editor to help you see the workflow, the foundation of how it works is based on this text and code approach. This is a method that is very popular with data engineers and backend developers who are used to defining their systems with code. In contrast, N8N is a visual first platform. You build your entire workflow by dragging and dropping different blocks or nodes on a screen and then connecting them with wires. You do not have to write any configuration files at all. This makes N8N dramatically more accessible to a much wider range of people. Your marketing team, your sales team, your operations staff, they can all look at an N8N workflow and have a pretty good idea of what it actually does. Kestra, on the other hand, is really only understandable to those with a technical background who are comfortable working with code-like files. This leads us to the intended purpose of each tool. Kestra's main strength is in what is called data orchestration. It is an excellent tool for managing complex data pipelines. For example, a data engineer would use Kestra to do things like pull huge amounts of data from a database, run a script to clean and transform that data, and then load it into a data warehouse. It is built for the world of data engineering and managing these big backend processes. N8N, on the other hand, is built for business process automation. Its strength lies in its huge library of hundreds of pre-built connections to your everyday business apps. I'm talking about tools like Google Sheets, Slack, Salesforce, WordPress, and so many others. While N8N can certainly handle data, its main purpose is to automate the actions and processes that happen within these business tools. It's about sending emails, updating customer records, and posting to social media. For these common business tasks, N8N is much faster and far easier to use. This really shows who each tool is built for. Because of its text-based nature and its focus on data pipelines, Kestra is a tool built for a very technical audience. Data engineers and backend developers will feel very comfortable with Kestra's approach. N8N is designed to empower a much broader audience. While developers love N8N for its power and its flexibility, its true strength is that a non-technical person can use it to build incredibly powerful automations. A marketing manager can build a complex social media workflow without ever asking a developer for help. This ability to empower everyone on a team to automate their own work makes a business run much more efficiently. It removes the bottleneck of having all automation requests go through a small and busy technical team. And learning to think this way, to see your business as a set of processes that can be automated, is really a skill that is valuable for everyone, not just developers. That is the core skill that I teach inside of my school community. We use N8N to learn how to build and automate real business processes step by step. I have courses for beginners and templates for common business tasks that anyone can use. If you want to bring the power of automation to your work, the link to the community is down in the description. So what is the final verdict? Kestra is a powerful and modern tool for a very specific and technical job, data orchestration. If you are a data engineer who needs to build complex data pipelines, it is an amazing choice. But for almost everyone else, including business owners, marketers, freelancers, and operations managers, N8N is the clear winner. Its visual approach is more accessible, its library of business app connections is much larger, and it empowers your entire team to build.
All right, that's the end of this video. I hope this helps you understand the difference between a data orchestrator and a business automation platform. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.